All initial opinions are this is genuine. What you're about to see may disturb you. Although UFO skeptics argue that UFOs and extraterrestrials are not real, history tells a different story. It's coming this way. It's definitely coming this way. A walk through the 20th and 21st centuries would reveal clear UFO sightings caught on camera. From the Phoenix Lights of Arizona to the famous Roswell incident, we have reason to believe that aliens have visited our planet and some of these visits have been captured on camera. Join us in today's video as we explore 15 clearest looking UFOs in history caught on camera. Number 15, the 2020 UFO floating behind erupting volcano. In the universe, a UFO in the form of a bright light is seen descending over the dome of the rock in Besides the pandemic, 2020 was a remarkable year for ufologists because they got to add to their list of UFO sightings in the 21st century. In 2020, Popocatapetl, a stratovolcano in Mexico, erupted for the umpteenth time. Beyond the ash and lava spewed by the volcano, something more eerie occurred during this eruption that shocked geologists. The eruption was captured on camera by residents who lived nearby documenting the event for the world to see. When the footage of the eruption got into the public space, something strange was discovered in the film. Right in the middle of the explosion was a UFO-like craft hovering in the background. It is easy to miss this UFO at the first watch of the video. However, if we pay attention, we will notice a strange light moving from left to right behind the volcano. The video has fueled ufologists' long-term hypothesis that volcanoes could be hotbeds for alien activities. Ufologists believe that UFOs use the energy produced by volcanic eruptions to power their crafts. This discovery has sparked the conversation that aliens might have been hiding in volcanoes all this while without us having a clue. Number 14. The 1980 Rendlesham Forest UFO Incident for decades, there have been multiple sightings of UFOs in the United Kingdom. Nevertheless, there is one that stands out from the rest, and it is the Rendlesham Forest Incident. The event, which occurred in December 1980, has made the forest a historic site in ufology. It all began in the early hours of December 26th, just outside RAF Woodbridge, which was used at that time by the United States Air Force. A security patrol near the east gate of the military base spotted lights descending into the nearby Rendlesham Forest. The patrol went into the forest to investigate the occurrence, but got the shock of their lives. A glowing metallic object was right there, staring at them. This strange metallic object had colored lights that further added to its mysticism. The story became more exciting when they decided to approach the object and it began moving through the trees before disappearing from view. Without wasting time, the patrol team called the local police to report the event. But guess what? The police didn't see any strange lights or objects when they inspected the forest and surrounding area. According to their report, the only lights they could see came from the Orford Ness Lighthouse, some miles away from the coast. Although the UFO managed to escape before the police's arrival, it left behind evidence of its visit. Later that morning, the servicemen had returned to scout through the forest and environs. At a small clearing near the eastern edge of the forest, there were three small impressions on the ground in a triangular pattern, including burn marks and broken branches on nearby trees. When the deputy base commander, Lieutenant Colonel Charles Halt, visited the site with a team of servicemen in the early hours of December 28th, they were met with another surprise. While the military men were taking radiation readings in the Triangle of Depressions, they saw a flashing light across the field to the east, almost in line with the farmhouse. It was just like the one seen on the first night. The thought on the minds of the servicemen was that the UFO had returned. This opinion was reaffirmed when Halt and the others later spotted three star, like lights hovering in the sky, before disappearing out of sight. 
Although Halt reported these events in a memo to headquarters, UFO skeptics have tried to poke holes into this sighting. It's most likely that aliens were on a reconnaissance mission in the area. Number 13. The USS Theodore Roosevelt UFO Incidents The U.S. Navy has finally acknowledged that videos appearing to show UFOs flying through the air are... While the USS Theodore Roosevelt was out maintaining the United States naval dominance, officers aboard the carrier ship experienced a series of striking events. From June 2, 2014 to March 10, 2015, the fighter pilots who served in the carrier ship during this period had a series of radar visual encounters with UFOs along the east coast of the United States. During this period, there were multiple reports of unidentified gauzy blobs on cockpit displays, onboard and offboard radar, infrared detections, and visual sightings by pilots and weapon systems officers. Once, one of these objects almost collided with two jets, prompting the fighter squadron to submit an aviation flight safety report. When news of this incident first emerged, UFO skeptics were quick to denounce the reports and claim that they were fabrications by ufologists to influence public opinion on the subject matter. However, they returned to their shells when videos emerged confirming these sightings. Although the U.S. government has begun taking stock of UFO sightings made by the military, it is unclear what these UFOs were out doing there. Could the UFOs have been on a military operation or training like their human counterparts? We might never know the answer to this question. Number 12. The 2015 Purple Flying Thing The crew of the Peruvian talk show Crime Stoppers will not forget February 2015 in a hurry. The crew was trying to shoot another episode for their show when they saw a strange-looking purple object. They paused their production to stare at the floating purple object in the air. The mysterious flying thing was not a large kite, neither was it an air balloon. But they weren't sure what it was because it was not close enough. Without wasting time, the crew recorded footage of the strange object as they pondered where it might have come from. Although the crew knew that they were witnessing something spectacular, they still couldn't find a plausible answer for the flying thing's origin or what it represented. However, by the time the video found its way to the internet, ufologists wasted no time interpreting that the purple thing was an alien spaceship. They seemed correct because the purple thing resembled a saucer, the same shape as the crafts linked with aliens. Furthermore, the object soared in the air for some minutes before disappearing out of view. Those familiar with UFO sightings can attest to the fact that this is typical of such objects. And congratulations to Peru for joining the long list of countries that extraterrestrials are fascinated with. Number 11 the 1947 Roswell Incident. July 8, 1947, is a memorable day in New Mexico's history because it was the day the Roswell Incident occurred. The official report says that metallic and rubber debris had been recovered from a crashed military ballon by Roswell Army Field personnel. However, theories have emerged over the years claiming that this report is only a ruse to cover up a much more mysterious event the crash of an alien spaceship. The debris in question is actually from the alien craft and not a military balloon. Although the United States Air Force released a later report in 1994 claiming that the debris was a top secret nuclear test surveillance balloon from Project Mogul, many still find it hard to believe this story. And we can't blame them because there have been inconsistencies in the authorities' official report of the event. Another reason why we can't believe the government is because retired Lieutenant Colonel Jesse Marcel had revealed in an interview with ufologist Stanton Friedman that the weather balloon had been a cover-up and there was a high chance that the debris might belong to aliens. This revelation generated excitement in the ufology community as other experts began investigating further. The investigations yielded positive results as ufologists interviewed several people connected to the incident. It was evident to everyone that the government had embarked on a serious cover-up operation of the incident. But the question is, why? If we are to guess, there is a chance that there were survivors from that alien crash and the government might have taken them captive. 
Guess what? The authorities might have also recovered the alien craft in a bid to learn more about the extraterrestrials. For all we know, these aliens might still be alive, but kept captive at a secret U.S. government military prison. Number 10. The 2006 O'Hare International Airport UFO Sighting If there is one place where many people, including UFO theorists, didn't expect to record a UFO sighting, then it is an airport. This explains why people are still surprised by the spectacle that occurred on November 7, 2006. Around 4 p.m. that day, 12 United Airlines employees and a few witnesses watched in amazement as a UFO flew over the airport. The witnesses were shocked to see a metallic, saucer-shaped craft hovering around Gate C-17. This outworldly craft was seen by over a dozen witnesses, from pilots and airline management to mechanics, for about five minutes before it shot into the sky and disappeared. When news of this event became public, United Airlines and the Federal Aviation Administration debunked the occurrence. It was quite easy for them to do so, because the air traffic controllers hadn't spotted this craft on the radar before it disappeared. Thus, this has made skeptics agree with the narrative that what occurred was a weather phenomenon. Nevertheless, UFO theorists have not been discouraged by this pushback by the authorities and believe that this event is prime evidence that aliens exist. Number 9. The 2019 Mysterious Glowing Orbs Although the military often likes to take credit for the appearance and disappearance of strange bright lights in the sky, can we really trust them? The answer is obvious. This is why many have chosen not to believe the military's narrative of mysterious glowing orbs seen in North Carolina. Sometime in September 2019, the sky was adorned by mysterious glowing orbs hovering over the ocean off North Carolina's outer banks. An eyewitness, William Guy, captured the event on camera while aboard a ferry in the Pamlico Sound Lagoon area. The short video clip exposes the cluster of bright lights that stood distinctly in the evening sky. Although it's clear that the mysterious lights are from a UFO, the more important question is, what are aliens doing off the coast of North Carolina? Or could it be that their base is close by, right under the ocean, as many have speculated? Hopefully, we uncover this mystery one day. Number 8. The 1967 Shag Harbor UFO Incident up until October 19, 1967, the small fishing village of Shag Harbor, Nova Scotia, had been relatively peaceful, with little to no appearance in the news. However, it all changed on October 4, when a mysterious event occurred close to the waters of Shag Harbor. At about 11 p.m. that historic night, local authorities received a report that something had crashed into the waters of Shag Harbor. This incident would have been easy to dismiss if only one person reported it. However, when multiple witnesses claimed to have heard a whistling sound like a bomb, then a whoosh, and finally a loud bang near the water, authorities were forced to take this case seriously. As they embarked on their investigation, more light was shed on what transpired that night. They soon found out that at least 11 persons had seen a low-flying lit object head toward the harbor. If Canadians had any doubt about extraterrestrial existence before this period, it was replaced with belief. The Royal Canadian Mounted Police, RCMP, dispatched officers to the scene based on the assumption that an aircraft had crashed and the men arrived 15 minutes later. They were a bit late to see the flying object with its light still showing sink into the water and disappear for life. The RCMP and Canadian Coast Guard immediately launched a rescue effort for survivors. However, it was a futile mission because they saw not a single soul. Neither did any dead body or belonging surface on the water in the coming days. Local fishermen, the Canadian Coastal Guard, and the Canadian Navy assisted the RCMP in their search for the mysterious flying object and survivors, all without results. Although the Canadian government has classified the craft as a UFO, it has renewed conversations on the possibility of aliens having their home underwater. Number 7. 
the 1957 Leveland UFO event. In 1957, the 10,000 residents of Leveland, Texas, experienced an unusual occurrence that put their small town on the global UFO map. The story opens up on November 2nd, 1957, when two immigrant farm workers, Pedro Sacedo and Joe Salaz, dialed 911 to report a UFO sighting to the local police. When probed by officers of the Leveland Police Department, the two men claimed to have seen a blue flash of light near the road while driving that evening. After driving for over four miles, the vehicle's engine died, and while trying to get it back to life, they watched in horror as a rocket-shaped object rose and approached the vehicle. As expected, the men took to their heels in fright, and the craft passed by the vehicle. Initially, the police department thought that this story was a ruse. However, by the time motorist Jim Wheeler also reported seeing a brightly lit, egg-shaped object that was about 200 feet long sitting on the road, local authorities started to rethink. In the days that followed, several residents would report seeing the same strange saucer-shaped object in the town. Although skeptics and the U.S. Air Force say that the event was caused by ball lightning or a severe electric storm, we might be shooting ourselves in the leg if we believe this narrative hook, line, and sinker. Eyewitnesses were so sure about what they saw, and it's only fair that we believe what was reported. Number 6. The 2020 Mysterious Lights in Shenzhen China, the world's most populated nation, has been the site of many UFO sightings. One that has continued to excite UFO theorists is the mysterious lights that appeared in the Chinese city of Shenzhen. Residents of Shenzhen had been going about their day when illuminating dots appeared in the sky, one night in July 2020. At first glance, people could tell that there was something strange about the bright-colored lights that stood out in the sky. The cluster of lights kept locals fascinated for minutes, and they were encouraged to document the strange lights with their phones and cameras. Shortly after, footage of the sighting found its way to social media, sparking another wave of UFO discussion. In one of the videos, a surprised eyewitness could be heard saying, There is a UFO in the sky. This is so strange. Number 5. The 1966 Westall UFO Incident The 1966 Westall UFO sighting is unlike others because it happened in an academic environment. On April 6, 1966, students and a teacher at Westall High School, Australia, received the shock of their lives when they spotted a strange flying object. It was about 11 a.m. that fateful Wednesday morning when the pupils and teachers saw a gray saucer-shaped craft soaring in the sky. This mysterious craft had a purple hue around it, and it is said to be twice the size of a family car. This is obviously bigger than most of the other extraterrestrial crafts sighted by humans. In the report given to the local authorities, the UFO flew over the high school and disappeared behind a stand of trees. The story takes an interesting turn when it is said that the craft emerged from the trees 20 minutes later, rose into the air, and disappeared towards the northwest. Although it has been decades since the event, the people of Westall and Australia at large find it hard to forget the thought that aliens might have secretly explored their land on a covert mission. Number 4. The 2004 Tic Tac UFO Encounter Retired Navy Commander David Fravor once served as a fighter pilot in the U.S. Navy and commandeered the F-A-18F squadron on the USS Nimitz, one of the leading carrier ships in the U.S. Navy. This accomplished soldier has been at the center of a UFO controversy after he made public an event that transpired in 2004. The retired Navy Commander spotted the object on November 14, 2004. He had been on a flight off the coast of Southern California with his colleague, Lieutenant Commander Alex Dietrich, when this chance meeting with the UFO occurred. They had been flying about 100 miles southwest of San Diego when an advanced radar on another ship, USS Princeton, detected multiple aerial vehicles over the horizon, descending 8,000 feet in one second. This incident shocked the servicemen on the USS Princeton, who immediately relayed it to nearby ships. 
Fravor and Dietrich were on the training exercise when they got the report, so they decided to investigate what was amiss. They soon found out that what was amiss was actually out of this world. They kept looking at the tick-tock shaped object and observed that it had no markings, no wings, and no exhaust plumes. Now, the question on the minds of many UFO theorists is, what are aliens looking for in California? Guess we would have to meet with them first if we are ever going to get an answer. Number three, the 2004 UFO in the heart of Santiago. In 2019, Scott Waring, an alien investigator and UFO hunter, was studying a photo taken by German Pereira when he discovered evidence that proved aliens' existence. Waring hadn't expected to find proof of extraterrestrials in a 15-year-old picture. However, it seems fate had other plans. Pereira had taken 10 photographs of mounted police officers on patrol in the Parque Forest of Santiago, Chile. Zooming in on Pereira's photograph, we discover a creature in the background. It's easy to dismiss the creature as a squirrel or rat, but its features prove it is neither of the two animals. Warring and other UFO experts believe that the strange-looking creature is an alien. Pereira's photo has opened another layer in the study of aliens, one that we never thought of before. Aliens could be invisible. This explains why they have stayed hidden from us all this while. Number 2. The 1989 Belgian UFO Wave Local authorities in Belgium cannot forget the year 1989 because they were hounded with reports of UFO sightings across the country. It all began on November 28th when people sighted triangular UFOs flying in the sky. Eyewitnesses were surprised to see strange objects moving in the air during the day. In the weeks that followed, more people spotted these triangular objects floating in the sky, and in no time, local authorities started to receive reports of these events. Many of the reports spoke of a large object flying at a low altitude. Another set of reports described this mysterious object with a flat, triangular shape and equipped with lights underneath. These sightings would extend from November 1989 into the next year, peaking in March. The highlight of this UFO wave occurred on March 30, 1990, when the radar of the Belgian Air Force tracked an unknown object. In response, two Belgian Air Force F-16s were sent to investigate the intruder. Much to the surprise of the pilots and their superiors back at the military base, they didn't spot any object. They had flown their jets in vain because they didn't meet any object on the way. So, where could this unidentified object have disappeared? The only logical explanation here is that the unidentified flying object belonged to extraterrestrials. Like the previous UFO sightings in the past three months, it is obvious that aliens had a business in Belgium. Number 1. The 1997 Phoenix Lights Sometimes extraterrestrials can be quite daring with their visits, not caring whether we can see them or not. And the Phoenix Lights of 1997 is a good example of such a scenario. When residents of Arizona and Nevada stepped out of their homes on the morning of March 19, 1997, little did they know that they would glimpse something spectacular before the day ran out. It was like every other day in the southwestern states, until 7 p.m. when people began to spot strange, bright lights in the sky. From the Nevada line through Phoenix, down to the edge of Tuscan, the night sky was brightened by these spectacular lights. And can you guess the most exciting part? These lights appeared to be moving. Many eyewitnesses attest to seeing a triangular formation of lights passing over the state of Nevada. While this was happening, other residents spotted a series of stationary lights in the Phoenix area. It was an unforgettable night as people were mesmerized by the cluster of reddish-orange lights that was staring back at them from the sky. These lights would adorn the sky from past 7 till 10 in the evening, before disappearing over the southern horizon. The mystical nature of this incident made many eyewitnesses conclude that the lights were UFOs. Some historians agree with this narrative, 
because how else do we explain these bright lights shining and moving in the night sky before disappearing? As expected, local authorities presented an alternative narrative to explain this mysterious incident. They claimed the lights were made by military aircraft on training exercises. However, witnesses find it hard to swallow this pill today, as many feel the lights were actually alien spaceships traveling through the southwestern states. Thanks for watching this Voyager episode. For more exciting discoveries, click the next video on the screen.